Hello everybody, back again Saul here for another episode of Until Dawn. When we last left off, we were playing here as Sam. Uh, I do know you change characters quite a bit during this game, so. We're playing as Sam for now. Um, we're gonna head back up to the, <laughs> the cabin where our best friend died the year before. So, it's great. Alright, uh... Creepy gate? Sure. Use the right stick to look around. Objects with glint or that glint can be inspected. Oh my god, these controls. What does that say? Oh, I can take it. Uh, what? The gate's busted. <sighs> Climb over, says Chris. Who's Chris? Climb over here. Okay. Let's go the safe route. We don't want... To fall off square. We don't want to fall off. And be the next ones to die, do we? Um, let's climb. Triangle. We're in no rush, right? There's only a creepy machete murderer guy behind us. She got a cute hat on, though. How do you get ahead of me? Still watching me. Hey you, I know you're over here. Get away from me. I know you're here. Okay. Um let's keep going. Ooh. A uh, little little squirrel. Don't move icon. Huh? Oh. It's the light bar from the PS4 controller. Okay. Cutie. Okay, interesting tutorial. If you're unsure of what to do next, current objective. Really? Current objective, head to the cable car station. Relationship status, character traits. Can you actually change all that? Like, does the gameplay actually affect all these stats? Be pretty cool if it does. Okay. Ooh. So there's little little lights here and there. What is this? Is this an oven? Oh, it's not. It's a sign. It looked like a like a stove, like a wood stove. That's what it looked like. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Death. Black butterflies prophesied are prophesied? Prophe is that even a word? Prophesied the dreamer's death. Oh, yeah, we picked up a black thingy and it showed the, the death of the, the two girls, right? Danger. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Loss. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Guidance. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. And fortune. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Okay. Uh-oh. As you explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking a totem up and turning it will reveal a colored butterfly and a premonition of a possible future. Okay. What color is this one? Yellow? Oh, yellow was Guidance. A bird. Okay. Guidance. The future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on the choices you make. Press R1. I thought R1 was my... Oh, oh! you can scroll through the thing. Whoa. Okay, so there's the objective. Uh, clues. Okay. Uh, more clues. Oh, there are different things. What did it say? The Twins. 1952. Mystery Man. And the Totems. Is the Mystery Man the Machete Killer? Are there enough totems in this game to fill up the whole thing? That's a creepy sound when they transition. 
All right, so we had a guidance totem show us a bird. So, wait, what was the thing that said on the bottom there? Play the events of the past. Oh. Oh God. Uh, great. That won't scar me for life, not at all. All right. Oh, look! Look at that background, though. Oh, that looks so good. I mean, I know it's not a background at all. It's probably just a skybox, right? But it looks really good. Um. Okay. Is, it, is there another creepy guy still in the forest following me? What does the sign say? Something about Bigfoot? Oh, the past. Graffiti all the, way up here. the past is beyond our control. Oh, it's like the graffiti font, too. The past is beyond our control. Isn't that what my therapist guy just said? Chris? Hello. Are you here? Who's Chris? I mean, he's the one that left to sign up at the gate, but who's Chris? <laughs> uh, oh, there's a backpack. Here. Is this you? Chris's backpack? You're not in the bag, are you? I guess it is Chris's bag. Hello. <laughs> is that him in the woods? The phone's ringing. Um. Let's not be nosy. Let's close up his bag. A butterfly effect appears when the, your actions have changed the narrative of the game. That's Chris. Has a crush on Ashley. Methodical, protective, humorous. I like how his defining trait is has a crush on Ashley. Like, get some depth, guy. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your uh -huh. mind. Blow your mind. Mind. Oh, I'm in control again. Okay. Um. Oh, I'm actually. I'm actually leaving footprints in the snow. Hey. Next gen technology, everybody. Next gen. What is it? What is this? Oh man, look at this. Wanted. Nice. Found a clue. Milgram Victor, male six two. Someone thought so. <laughs> oh come on, this place is abandoned most of the year. Last seen nineteen ninety eight. Okay, is this guy gonna stop talking finally so I can read this, please? Wanted in connection with a first degree arson offense, as well as various death threats. Anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal should contact the BPMC as soon as possible. Blackwood Provincial Mounted Constabulary. Are we in Canada? Mounted cons like mount, mount like mounties? Mounted police? Is Blackwood an actual place? Are we in a real Canadian place? Ta da uh, Red, right? Ta da Yeah. What is it? Yeah. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh? <laughs> a shooting yeah. range. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Want to try? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here goes. Chris. Oh, we're playing as Chris now. This is going to be a shooting tutorial. Hold the right stick to aim. R2 to shoot. Okay. Got it. Is that a can? That is a can. Oh. Uh, what's this? Another can. Oh, it's the same can, I think. There we go. Wow. Nice shooting tips. All right. I'm bad. I'm gonna go ahead and get oh my god, this guy. Not, I don't think so, girl. Girl. Uh, choose which target. 
Let's do the far one. This is no well, beginner's luck. And their Told you. That big, that close. Oh man. <gasps> no, I'm not shooting a squirrel. Thank you. Is that the same squirrel we fed earlier? Let's not shoot the squirrel. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> Ha 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 ha. Dad jokes. Hey, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Take the gun with you. I have a feeling we'll need it. No. Alright. So now we're playing as Chris. The controls are still just as wonky. Do I have to read this as each character to get the information? Like, is character knowledge a thing or is player knowledge enough? Okay. Uh, guess we gotta go to the cable car. Let's all go to the cable car. Josh wanted us to keep it locked. Yeah. He said that? What people? I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Huh. Oh, hello. Don't walk that way. X. For you. Oh, real Fire action. There's some snowboards in the corner. I wonder whose those are. Those like somebody just left it on the mountain. It's like, oh, let's keep it in the station. Um. What? The Where's the cable car? Guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get the appeal of Where is it? Time at the oh, is that it? Up way out there? How long is this gonna take? Can I actually just stand here until it shows up? Does it show up in real time? Please. What am I getting stuck on? The sleeping giant. What a crazy place to set up house. <laughs> no matter how rich you are. Not so rich. Blackwood Pines Hotel and Sanatorium. Is that the place we were at? For a healthy body and mind. Interesting. Did they actually convert an old sanatorium to their cabin? What's this? Huh? Surveillance cameras? Huh. I wonder if those are in real time. Like, if we could go back and then we'd show up on there. Anyway. Is that it? Can I open these lockers? Something? Finally, you coming? Oh, yeah, cutscene. Well, Car's here. Stay here and catch some Z's, but... Okay. Right. Oh, and then we gotta walk in ourselves. Okay. Like Enter car. Sure. What? Right. What does that have to do with prom? Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no. He definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? <laughs> Bro, good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? Sure. I know. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap mm -hmm. snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so. So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this <laughs> day. What a coincidence. 
Boom. Butterfly effect. I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some See what other I say? person entirely. Butterfly effect. Boom. Butterfly Ooh. effect. Hey. Why you gotta steal my line, bro? I do think about the butterfly effect a lot, though. Like how each choice we make potentially spawns a different universe entirely where you made the other choice. Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. She has a really creepy stare going on there. Confident, trusting, irreverent. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. I almost said irrelevant. <gasps> oh. She's so peppy. Oh, I'm playing as Jessica now. That was her name, right? Jessica? Jess. Close enough. Are there more shiny things for me to inspect? Go over here. What is this? It's like a box. What the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica, oh god. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please stroke? let us out? She said that please? weird. Press. Oh, I guess I have to let go of the button. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, got a lot of meat on my butt. <laughs> It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Hey. <laughs> well, 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 what do we What do you take? Chris? My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And it says what Mike kind of on sizzling it. erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. <laughs> um Oh, I'm with Mike now. Mike sure, let's explain. We're together. Oh, drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. And now <laughs> I'm in. Oh. Yeah. Pretty clear cut, actually. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. I'm getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you Status update. Ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. Wait for Mike. What? I mean, you know, <laughs> whoever. Uh -huh. Sam? Whoever. Did you see this view? Oh my god. I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget it to just That's a beautiful skybox, alright. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Emily. Mike's ex. Intelligent, resourceful, persuasive. Oh, this is the girl that's just a prank hand. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. Motivated, ambitious, active. And oh my god, this whole web of relationships is getting messy. Where's a bellboy? Excuse you. Oh, I'm playing as Matt now. Okay. So I played for like two seconds as Jess. Okay. Am I carrying her bags? Please. Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. <laughs> oh. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. Uh huh? I mean, what do you think? Oh, well, why'd you stop? Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Mike. Mike, Emily's ex. Intelligent, driven, persuasive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys. Michael. You really, really and likes to creep people out, apparently. Dude, Michael. You just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No I guess that's why he's her Go ex. In the woods. It's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like uh Oh. This. Hey, hey, hey. Back off, Mike. We're all friends here. 
Uh, I don't want to threaten him. I want to say back off, but I don't want to threaten him flat out. Let's just say, hey, we're all friends, Michael, you know? I'm just going to lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's going to suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super <laughs> awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. Cool. You guys going to make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, oh my god, that animation. Check on the cable car back on the trip. Right. That's a great animation. See ya. See ya. See ya. Oh, Alright, we didn't make any trouble. What? Alright. Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Excuse you. Um, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just I really need to go find her. I totally the forgot. I need the to the same go way find her Mike we just get went. All the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt. Please. <sighs> okay. All right. Fine. You want to go back the way? If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me. Hold them more even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Please. Thank you. Sweetie. Ooh, she gonna go see Mike. Ooh. I guarantee. I mean, they both left the same way. Back the way we were coming from, for some reason. Okay. Oh, there's another one of the lookout thingies. Ashley has a crush on Chris. Did Chris have a crush on Ashley? They have crushes on each other? Alright. I mean, those are the best kind of crushes to have, I guess. The reciprocated kind. Alright, but academic, inquisitive, forthright. Are oh, we playing with Ashley now? Right stick. Move it. Whoa, hello. Ooh. He's getting a little friendly. Oh, I knew it. Not in the friend zone kind of way. Mike and Emily. I knew it. <laughs> oh man. Hopefully, uh, what's his name? Let's see, Matt. What's his name? Oh God. Oh, speaking of Matt. Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare you. Wow. Scare you, sort that scared me. But not like for real. Scare you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, well. Man, I'm not really sorry, Ash. Oh my gosh. What are you looking at? Damn. Uh, Let me check it out. Any juicy. Oh my god. Um, yeah. Go ahead, guy. Take a look. Go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Son of a bitch. Uh oh. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. Hmm. Matt. I mean, from what I've seen of her so far, she doesn't seem like that good of a person. Oh, we're playing as Jessica again. Uh, read a book or check phone? Pfft, who's gonna read a book? Oh, you did not oh my god. That. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard um, to take me into custody? Um, let's grab a snowball. I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh, and she ran to the bench anyway. Oh, uh, <laughs> shoot. Hey. Ah, right in the face. Get wrecked. <laughs> So they're together, but he was still out there with Emily. Okay. 
Ah, in the face again. Uh, square. Birdie. <gasps> That's the totem bird. It's gonna fly away. Boom shakalaka? Is this NBA jam? Birdie. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. Oh yeah, this is the scene from the totem. Is that the only target? Okay, well then I guess I'm doing nothing. What is this music? I really don't want to get hit with a copyright from this music either. <laughs> Whoa! No more. Going down. Oh no. Oh no. I don't think so. I think you'd know so if I did. Alright, alright. Aha! Double entendres. My favor then? You're a worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. <laughs> My lady. Tips, Fedora. I'm gonna ah! kiss him. Grab the snowball. Wrecked. Ho oh, ho. Okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. Oh no. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Yeah. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. <laughs> Just making out? Oh, God. Quote, unquote. Well, I... Ah, uh, hormones. Quote. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Can I play now? Not in a cutscene or quick time events. Is that a thing I can do? Why is the like mist moving upwards? What's happening there? Ah, another. And how are Hello. We feeling? All right, I suppose. Seems we hardly scratched the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit. That's what she said. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the page. Okay, sure. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Okay. <laughs> Men worry me. Women worry me. Uh, I'm gonna say men. Men typically worry me. Sure. Especially those uh, Gamergate types. Planes scare me or crowds scare me? Uh, probably crowds more than planes. Oh yeah, turn the page. I fear heights or I fear drowning? Probably heights more so than drowning. Neither one really, but if I had to choose heights. Snakes or rats? I'm probably more afraid of snakes. Hello. And just writing? Okay. Well, welcome to Psychological Profiling, the series. Uh, guns are scary or knives are scary? Guns? Because, I mean, knives have another purpose, right? They're used for... Cutting things to cook. Guns, I mean, have, have one purpose. They shoot. <laughs> to kill things. Snakes. This game's gonna use all this stuff to jump scare me later, isn't it? Oh, God. I'm gonna do that clown right there. Mm-hmm. There's sirens in the background of this? Interesting. Gore. Yeah, I'd say gore. Oh. Did I ah. startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. 
Don't be nervous. Right after you pound on your desk just to scare me. What a Speak kind of therapist are you? The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay. Watch. Use a metronome. Ah, uh, spider. <laughs> Mm. Let's say gore. You gonna scare me again, guy? Uh, um, I'm gonna stick with the clown. Zombies are so commonplace now, you're pretty much just like immune to being scared of zombies. Um, if your dog, that's not a dog, but okay. Um, I'm gonna stick with gore. Uh, storms. Storms don't scare me. Gore. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Spiders. Ha <laughs> An awful. <laughs> mm-hmm. Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> huh. For you, maybe. Oh, well, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Okay. Can I end my episode now? <laughs> it's going pretty long. Previously, it's gonna recap everything, really. Can I skip this? Okay. Whatever. I'll just end it from here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's gonna do it for us for today. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.